Hello and uh, welcome to another video here from Kasha Games and uh, today I want to revisit a topic that I touched on uh, that was actually 10 months ago now uh, Elite Dangerous playing uh, played through GeForce Now with a joystick and throttle control and uh, I, I wrote a blog post about it there's a video that many of you may have seen already and uh, the one thing that always kind of bugged me about the solution was that it 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 worked well, pretty well, use, using Joy to Key, among other things. But the part that never quite worked was getting the throttle control to behave the way it does when you play it locally, uh, when it's just installed normally. And that's been bugging me, and actually kind of kept me from playing. Uh, elite dangerous for this past year and uh, but a few months ago I started looking at this from a little different perspective because I noticed and I it's always been there I just never really paid attention to it uh, elite dangerous has an option to play the game with the game controller too like your Xbox or PlayStation controller whatever you can connect to your PC and uh, I never thought about using that before and I couldn't help but wonder maybe there's a way we can use that to use the joystick that I have this one here and just somehow translate that to something that G GeForce Now can pass through to Elite Dangerous and uh, I, I found out that I, obviously I knew that GeForce Now supports controllers and it's a, it supports multiple uh, controllers as well and I had some difficulty actually figuring that out initially it looked like uh, two controllers were behaving like the same one but they really weren't but that's a different story but the bottom line is there's actually a after digging around a little bit I found this post here uh, on reddit on the GeForce Now subreddit and um, this one here essentially this is the key to everything uh, it's uh, it probably not going to be based on comments I've seen it's not going to be quite as good as having a local installation and playing it on your computer but for me having gone through this and set this up it's good enough for me to actually play it and enjoy it and for me that's the important thing so so I'm going to link to I'll have a link to this here and below in the description to this video but I've also gone a little step further I'll, I'll have a blog post that goes along with this that details more about how I set things up and uh, I'll have that on my blog uh, it'll be just like this similar to this and I'll have a link to that as well in the description so you can just check that out so so let, let's just take a quick look at here and see what what uh, the right the recommendation was here so there's two software packages this one and this one here and uh, you can download both of them these these links work fine I'll have links to these as well in the description and uh, this one basically emulates a uh, like it says here emulating well-known USB game controllers and this one here allows you basic basically you can turn with using these together you can turn your joystick into game controllers and that's exactly what we need to play Elite Dangerous on GeForce Now and uh, and uh, so the joystick I use just for reference is this one and as I'm looking at it right now it's uh, $30 off this is uh, mid January so it's a pretty pretty decent deal I mean, it's a cheap joystick right compared to many others but it works works pretty well and it, it's uh, works on Windows works on my Xbox so it, it's a good a good combination so what I've done here I've already set things up I have let's see here here's my setup so once you install the software you actually have to <coughs> for this to work properly with the throttle in in GeForce Now and Elite Dangerous, you you, you kind of have to set up two different controllers. You have to split your your thr throttle here 
into one separate controller and then everything else on the first one so so as you can see here if we go in and edit I have all the controllers buttons uh, the throttle is right here and then of course all the regular buttons that you would have on a controller are just configured <coughs> for the most part I tried to keep everything as close as possible to <coughs> an Xbox controller <coughs> it's not always possible and with some of the buttons on top of the joystick you kind of have to make a decision what what do you want to be tied to the the trigger buttons these right here uh, so that's the the bottom uh, buttons on your controllers the I and then uh, they have the top ones the top shoulder buttons you know which buttons do you want to assign those to so that that's going to come down to a personal preference right I, I just try to keep it to what makes sense in what's already in elite dangerous as set up in there as by default they just made it easier to just convert everything so what, what I've done here is I've set every, everything I've set, got actually have so this is my joystick right here are set to these uh, this is the the rotation yaw um, and then the throttle I have on the y-axis on the right uh, stick so and obviously you can set this up whichever way you want it but those are the main analog axis I'm using and then uh, there's uh, you, you have the slider or the rocker controller on the throttle as well on this one on the inside um, see if you can see it on here so this one right here these here and these two buttons I've actually added those to a separate uh, controller here with a slider as it's called here the slider or the rocker uh, controller on the the one controller and then you just assign those other two to any buttons really doesn't really matter <coughs> just so that uh, I have those set up and configured as well and then once you do that uh, you just have to start these up before you start you can actually start Elite Dangerous up all the way and and then start them I'm going to start them up right now and uh, we'll see that the, con you know, the controllers are responding as I'm pressing the buttons and then what we'll do is um, we'll hop over to uh, GeForce now is start actually um, let's go ahead and uh, yeah so let's uh, let me show you one other thing I'm going to share also uh, in the blog post uh, and uh, in the description is the this is kind of the layout that I'm using uh, with the the buttons on the joystick the game controller layouts how the buttons correspond to the joystick and then the all of this is um, my first basic attempt at making a button configuration for for the game so you have the unmodified chip controls if you click any button without holding X a B or Y that'd be these here and if you hold X and you press the, the one of these buttons it will do those so and I'll be expanding this as I figure out how it all ties together but I wanted to share that 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 will be available as well so let's go ahead and uh, hop over to Elite here and start this out and, and you can use um, so I'm using oh so this is actually interesting uh, I have that's the first time I run into that I have the ultimate founders subscription and I, and I have never seen that before actually I take that back I've seen it once um, uh, over the Christmas break I saw that once and that's not very common it's actually quite interesting so what we're going to do here is just uh, start up the game here and uh, let's uh, get going and, and uh, like I said I, I'm, I have the ultimate founders edition of GeForce now so it's the 3080 and the upgrades that they're doing for that later this year to upgrade that uh, to even uh, to the 4070 or say 4080 I can't remember so that's what I'm using to play this and I primarily use it so that the Odyssey portion works I don't I don't use that a whole lot but I, one thing I like to do is just land on a planet and just walk around I think that's just really cool I don't care too much about the missions on the planets I like mostly just flying around but it's um, uh, and uh, I found that if it's been a 
probably over a year since I tried this on on the priority um, tier. Uh, but if my recollection is right, the game itself works just fine. Uh, I can't remember about Odyssey if that was working well on the priority tier or not. Uh, I think it did work, but uh, Elite Dangerous by itself is fine, um, even on the priority tier. Uh, so if you if you if that's what you have, you'll be fine. If you don't care about Odyssey, you'll be fine with that. At least based on the experience I had. And uh, so what we got to do now is just wait to get through this here. If you already have everything set up, and I'm going to show you a couple of little pitfalls that I ran into while setting things up. I'm actually set up my joystick here while this is loading. I actually forgot to do that. And um, then what I'm just going to do a quick uh, launch from the station where I'm at right now just to just to show that hey, what I'm actually using is actually working. So that's what we're going to do today here. And uh, you know when it comes to the controllers themselves when you configure this nearly dangerous what I found the best thing to do and I can think I mentioned this is to stick with the the default you can you know change the controller scheme in the settings from you know keyboard and mouse joystick mouse game controller and so on and and I just picked one of the game controller configurations I stuck with that and I made one or two changes to make it fit with the controller scheme that I'm using so you can use the, the scheme that I showed earlier that that you can just view or you can just go through this on your own and make up your own controller scheme and that's uh, you know that's totally up to you and uh, but but like I said uh, my my intent was to try to make it as simple as possible to accomplish this so I don't spend <coughs> a week fiddling with the controllers trying to figure out what's working and what isn't so <coughs> yeah like I said I haven't really played this much <coughs> if at all since I made the last video just because I was so frustrated with the whole whole uh, throttle aspect thing so uh, what I'm going to do now, so right now I'm using um, my joystick here to navigate. So let's go over to uh, controls, uh, ship controls, and this is where you can look at. So this is these are the different ones: the control pad, the keyboard, mouse. So these are the different ones, and I think I think I just picked the default one, this one here. The reason mine says custom is because I've changed a few things right so so let's take a quick look at let these here I think most of these are you know kind of self-explanatory you just want to make sure that you don't try to assign if you do this manually you don't try to assign the joystick to these here you keep it to this one uh, same with the look for the axis and I and I made this mistake with the throttle uh, I'll show you here uh, the throttle one here so by default before the way I had to set up with the old configuration is that the buttons here control the throttle uh, through joy to key but since I'm using the gamepad now the game controller configuration I don't need this uh, I, I tried to use this but then I realized oh I need to use this right here so that's just something I'd, I'd keep in mind make sure you use this part for the throttle uh, that's that that's the part that threw me off uh, and and also because uh, on the on the gamepad the analog there's no analog axis used for the throttle it's all buttons so it's one button press at a time so the game controller setup with the throttle on an axis is different than the default so you'll want to make sure you change that I think everything else I don't think there was anything else major that I changed most of these are the same uh, that they are on the controller so I didn't really touch many of those I think the one I did change was actually this one here uh, on the interface mode and this is primarily just for when you're navigating around in the various menus in the game itself or in the ship uh, the panel piece right here this is assigned to the, the slider the rocker on the 
on the secondary emulated game controller. So that's what these are here. And uh, you know, you can use the keyboard as well, but I wanted to have that on my joystick so when you're moving around, you don't have to take your hands off the joystick. And what I would do recommend is once you're done setting this up, uh, <coughs> when you get into the game, uh, I would recommend you go to the training. Go to the training, do the pilot assessment. That's the one I, I found to be the most helpful to, to check all the controls, not just for the flying, but also the weapons controls to make sure that those work still the way you expect them to. So for right now, I'm just gonna. What I'm gonna do here is just uh, go to the station where I'm at, and you know I can't even remember where I was, where I'm at right now, <clears throat> and just uh, take her out for a spin. I just really just want to show you that the controllers, the throttle works the way we expect it to. So what we'll do is we'll uh, take off. Uh, we'll just launch here. Um, So, Ford City, that's where I'm at. Um, and actually, I'm wondering here, I can't remember what the, my graphics setup was here. If it's, yeah, it looks like it's, so it's an, an ultra, everything is uh, uh, where it's supposed to be. I just want to double check that because it, <coughs> I, I run into it a few times where that wasn't quite the way I expected it to be. So, okay, so let's uh, take off here, and we're actually right by the exit here, so, alright, so, and then we got the sideways movement, we got the up and down, the thrusters, and then here we go, here goes the throttle, so we go partial throttle here, we'll go a little faster. So we've got the landing gear up. So, <coughs> so as you can see here, I'm moving the throttle forward and backward. And so this is uh, just the way I'd expect it to work in the in the game if I played it locally. So it's working just the way I uh, expect it to. So we'll just kind of go out here a little bit, and then uh, let's just. Uh, Let's turn around. <coughs> and like I said, there, I read some reports that this is uh, the sensitivity on the controllers isn't as good. Um, and here, here we go. Here's the throttle going backwards, right? So both of those work. And then uh, let's uh, hop over here, and here you can see the, it's the request docking. The request granted. So now we'll use our fancy new throttle again to go the other way and head back into Ford City here and we'll dock again and uh, so as you can see this is uh, this is completely you know partial you know just slowly rotating faster rotating so this this is a lot better than Joy to Key uh, a lot more precise than Joy to Key was, not just the throttle movement, but any you know the, the ship control, the, the pitch, and all that stuff too. So uh, it, it's a lot better than it was with the Joy to Key solution. So okay, we need to find uh, 38, and with my luck, it's going to be right below me here. 36. All right, where is 38? Oh, there we go. Okay, let's let get the landing gear down here. Landing gear deployed. Perfect. Perfect landing. 
<coughs> and that's uh All right, so let's uh, go back into the hangar here and stick around in Fort City until next time I decide to go explore. But <coughs> yeah, so so the bottom line is with the uh, X output um, that actually helps. You can get rid of the joystick key completely. You don't need that anymore. You can use a uh, U2 joystick just like if it was a you know you're actually playing locally. So I, I think it's I think it's awesome. And that's uh, yeah. So that's a that's it. That's uh, how this solution works. And uh, give it a shot. Give it a try. And uh, don't hesitate to give me a shout if you have any questions about how I did it or or, or whatnot. And <coughs> I may or may not be able to help you with any issues that you have. But I'm certainly uh, willing to help if if needed. And uh, well, if, would you look at that? And GeForce Now usually for me is great. But as you can see right now. It's not, so that every now and then happens, and uh, I don't know if it's time of day for me uh, or what, but uh, that's the one drawback with uh, GeForce now is that every now and then you get this uh, poor bandwidth that for one reason or another, one minute is working just great, next it's not. So, but that's the nature of cloud gaming, right? So. Anyway, if you have any questions, don't hesitate to let me know. Uh, you can uh, check out my website, cashofgames.com, for you know for the blog post itself. And if you want to read the the other posts I had on here or watch the video, whichever. But anyway, so uh, thanks again for watching, and I hope this has been uh, useful for you, and hopefully you'll end up enjoying Elite Dangerous a whole lot more because of it. Thanks again and we'll see you next time.